Before we jump in and start animating, you'll want to be familiar with the basics of Character Animator's user interface. So let's take a quick tour. Once you launch Character Animator, you'll find yourself on the home screen. This is where you can open projects, start new projects, launch tutorials, or import a range of ready to animate puppets. And this is just the starter pack. Click on the See More button and you'll be taken to Adobe Character Animator's website, which includes even more free puppets you can start with. Okay, moving to the next workspace icon, you've got your rigging workspace. This workspace can look a bit overwhelming at first, but show no fear. In later videos, you'll learn to use the rigging workspace to tag body parts, set up keyboard triggers, and dial in advanced behaviors. Next, you've got the record workspace for recording and editing standalone videos. And last, you have a dedicated stream workspace for live streaming on social media or web conferencing apps. So those are the four workspaces. Last bit on this topic, if a workspace ever gets weird on you, you can always go up to Window, Workspace, and Reset to restore the given workspace to its default layout. 